Hey everyone, this is Ofer with Trauma Pack. I want to give you a good uh, in-depth tutorial on how to use the AAJTS by Compression Works. So this is currently the only FDA-approved junctional tourniquet that can work in multiple sizes to include both the inguinal area, um, the abdominal aorta, and then your axillary area. It also works as a pelvic binder. Um, so I want to kind of give you a how to uh, of how to use this device, and again for when it is. So if you think about major hemorrhage. If we have an amputation, we're going to be using our tourniquets. If we have, we come on in, if we have a junctional wound that's you know still lower on, we can wound pack it. But what about this general area here, the pelvic uh, grill, right? The area that is very difficult to wound pack or high up on the axillary uh, in those junctions. This is where this device is a game changer for us in the field. Uh, and now uh, we want to go over that right now. So let's take a look. How do we use this? You're going to take this uh, item here. There's it kind of comes packaged, as you see here, in this device like that. So that's how it is. We're going to open it up. I'm going to open this, and I'm going to take this strap here, put it on the lower back, and on the small of the back, push it through. And I'll kind of show you how to put it where, on the most difficult site, which is going to be the uh, abdominal aorta right here. So I'm just pulling this strap right through here, and I'm going to go red to red. So you'll see... I'm just kind of repositioning it right in the middle of the abdomen over the umbilicus area. And I'm taking up all that excess strap. And to do that, we're going to pull on this, take the excess strap, pull that through. And again, it's oriented in the middle. And now I went red to red. I'm going to just tick up all the slack that's left so it's nice and snug. We're not really tightening it with this. We're just keeping it nice and snug. If you were to use this as a pelvic binder, that would all, is really all you would be doing right now is just taking it up, maybe a little bit of pressure. But let's kind of orient in this direction so you can see what I'm doing here. So again, this is going to be our junctional bleed. Maybe this is, we try to wound pack and it's not working. As you can see, it's bleeding. This is going to be a deadly, massive uh, bleed that we have to control. So I've already tightened it. I'm now going to grab my, uh, my, uh, my bulb here. And I'm going to be inflating this until I get to 250 millimeters of mercury so you can see it's still bleeding and the goal is to get to the 250 as fast as we can and you can see the bleeding has slowed down so this is not to confuse with what we're actually inflating but as you can see we got to the green the green is if you come and take a look the green tells us we're in that safe site which is 250 I'm going to kind of get rid of some of this water here. I'm pressing the water pump, and you can see there's no more bleeding, and this has been controlled. The, the nice part about this junctional tourniquet is that it doesn't slip and slide. It really kind of stays focused in this spot. So how long can we leave it on? So we can leave it on on the aorta, uh, on this part as a junctional tourniquet on the aorta, for one hour. If we're using it on the junctions, like the groin and the armpits, we can leave it on for four hours. It's also contraindicated for pregnant, uh, pregnancy as well as triple uh, A's, especially in the aorta spot. So again, this is a review of the AAJTS. If you have any questions, you can reach uh, out to us. And uh, remember, this is all about making a difference, and we believe that this product will be a big uh, help to others and allows all of us to be the difference.